So I've reviewed a lot of devices over the years and always comes back to this question. Should I get an Nvidia Shield? Should I get a Fire Stick? Or should I just use my PC to do everything that I need to? So the only problem there, guys, is that when you're talking about a PC, usually it's not portable. Today, we're taking a look at something that could resolve those issues that actually simplifies that problem so today we're taking a look at a mini pc stick from azul this is the axis 4 and it has a similar footprint to your fire sticks or your tivo stream 4k however it's a fully fledged windows computer so today we're going to do an unboxing we're going to put it to the test see what it can do guys and drop your questions in comments in the comment section below let me know if this is something that you could see yourself using to replace your streaming devices Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So before we jump into what's in the box and the specifications, big shout out to Azul for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in buying this or any of their accessories, please check the links in the description of this video. So as far as some of the specifications, so it does come with a Gemini Lake processor, operating system can be Windows 10, IoT 2019, or Ubuntu Linux. Some of the features, it does have a, a real BIOS where you can set up a Pixie Boot, Wake on LAN, Auto Power On, comes with 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 64 or 128 gigs of storage, depending on what you pick at checkout. As far as the Wi-Fi, you have an Intel AC3165 dual band Wi-Fi card, GPUs and Intel HD Graphics 600. You do have a gigabit ethernet port bluetooth 4.2 the maximum supported output resolution is 4k at 60 frames per second and you can also set up dual monitors on this pc let's go ahead and get it out of the box get it set up and see how it performs As far as the contents of the box, first thing we have is a quick start guide. Of course, this is gonna tell you everything you need to know about the device, uh, what the capabilities are, how to hook it up. So definitely worth a read. The second thing that we have is the HDMI extension. And for anyone that either worried about their their device hanging on the HDMI ports of your TV, this will come in handy. This will allow you to plug in the PC stick without having that weight resting on your HDMI port. So we do have a power brick, it is a, a DC plug. The output on this is five volts, three amps, 15 watts. So mine came with a USA plug, so all I had to do was just slip it on there, but depending where you live, the plug might be different. So here's a look at the device, and this is common with Azul devices. Being that this is fanless, it is gonna get pretty warm, so they did leave a sticker just, just warning you guys that, hey, if you're gonna be using this, especially if you're doing a lot of gaming or watching a lot of media, it might get a little bit warm, so beware when you touch it so my experience it does get warm but it's not hot enough to burn you but definitely something you want to keep in consideration so here's the device itself and this just feels premium all over guys this is built solid you can tell they did put a lot of consideration into the overall look and feel of this device so grid lines are all over the place so you can see the fins up top you can see it on the bottom so when you're using the device of course it's going to warm up and the fins allows the air to flow through thus keeping your device cool now as far as the ports on the left side you have a usb-c and this is where you can set up that second monitor so if you have a second monitor you can use a usb-c to hdmi or something like that to get the display to that second screen now in the back of the device, you have three ports. First, you have your headphone jack, regular 3.5 millimeter, but you can run to your headphones or you can run to speakers. You also have a gigabit ethernet port in the middle and Kensington lock port on the right side. Now on the right side of the device is where you're gonna see your antenna. So it flips up and does give you a little better signal depending on where you have a position. So keep that in mind. You also have an SD slot. You can add storage up to 512 gigabytes. So a lot of room for expandability on this device. You also have a USB 3 port, the power input, this is where you plug in your plug, and below that you have a power and reset button. And also don't forget that in the front of the device is going to be an HDMI port, 
and also on the top we do have an led indicator that will let you know that the device is powered on and working i should mention that zool also sells this pretty cool remote for this device and it uses the usb dongle so you can see some of the buttons there it does have the windows key it does have the microphone on there it does have a built-in mic and also has an air mouse where you can go ahead and just point at the screen move your hand and it should follow flip it over you have a full keyboard you can see right there you do have the windows key feels nice in your hand premium device and i've had good experiences with it so this will not be included in the package but this is an option to check out from the zoo website let's go ahead and get it set up we're going to do some benchmark do some streaming some gaming just see how it performs overall drop your comments in the comment section below let me know if you think this will be a device that could replace your current android device whether you have an nvidia shield a tivo fire stick let me know what you guys think Let's go ahead and get it powered up. So here we are in the operating system. Like I said, this is a full fledged Windows computer guys. So it's fully activated. You can see it does have Windows 10 Pro. So right here it does show you that Windows is activated. It shows install memory as well as the processor. So when you guys think of a Windows computer, you probably don't think stream and you probably think, okay, I can get my Word documents, I can get my PowerPoints done. But if you configure this with the tiles, this is almost like an Android box. So let me just um, switch it to tablet mode here. You can do that by hitting the icon in the bottom right. Select tablet mode. And you can see now it looks more familiar with the live tile. So you can see to the left, I have some stuff that I installed. So I have a couple games that we'll be testing out in a little bit. I do have my streaming applications. You can see I have Plex, I have Hulu, MB, I have Kodi on here, Pandora. Uh, this is completely customizable, guys. So you can drag it over here. You can create a new group with this. So if you just want to call this Nord, you can go ahead and do so. It will stand by itself. Or you can go ahead and just drag it into a different group. So I think that's pretty cool. Easy to customize. And of course, you can always add new apps to these categories. So if I go in here, go to all apps. And let's say I wanted to add people. I just right click on it, pin to start. Now if I go back, people's right here and I can go ahead and essentially put it wherever I want to, which is pretty cool. So like I said, I do have some streaming apps. Let's go ahead and launch Plex. And this will work extremely well with your remote. So if you have a, a air mouse or something like that, or even a typical Bluetooth remote, you should be able to go ahead and navigate that. So let me just get into my Plex here. Of course, I can make it full screen. Just hitting this arrow right there. All right, so here we are. If I go into, let's go into my movies here. All right, you can see we have a lot of good stuff in here. Experience is pretty smooth and it works pretty well, guys. All right, so pretty smooth, it does work. If I click on this, go ahead and hit play. And we'll just start from the beginning. We can see that works flawlessly. So that was Plex. Uh, Hulu's gonna be similar, guys. You can see it brings me right into the actual um, interface where I can click on my live channels and stream it that way. All right, so we also have MB on here. If you guys don't know, I did full setups on NB as well as your Plex media server. Some people prefer NB over Plex, but I, I did set up for both of them both are great media servers guys my opinion nb looks a little bit cleaner plex might have more support but you can't go wrong with either so nb plex i have hula on here prime videos cody iheart and like i said you can drag it and drop it however you want also don't forget when you're on a pc you get the full experience the full windows experience so you do have the windows store microsoft store that you're gonna have different things in there and it's gonna have a lot of apps a lot of free games in here if you guys are interested also we have microsoft office we have OneDrive powerpoint one note so if you use that log into your account take it on the road with you we have our weather application right there which is a live tile application um, which is pretty cool also I did load my full browsers guys so I do have Google Chrome I have Firefox remember it is a computer so it's gonna be a browser that you're familiar with head over to the channel guys make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already also hit that notification bell but uh, like I said everything looks pretty good you get that full web browser experience. Remember that the maximum output for this is 4K at 60 frames per second. Let's go ahead and change the setting. Set it to 4K, see how it does. And you can see it is buffering ahead. You can go ahead and skip ahead. 
and this is smooth as butter. I am going to test a couple of these games out, but before I do, let's go ahead. We're going to do a benchmark. We're also going to do a Wi-Fi speed test just to see what speeds we're getting compared to what we're paying for. So here are the results of the benchmark and you can see the product is up top, but the single core score is 442 and the multi score is 1524. So uh, this is something that you want to do, guys, if maybe if you're comparing different devices, but if you scroll further down, it gives you the system information, uh, the clock speed uh, gives you the single core performance as well as the tests that were performed to get that score. If you scroll even further down, it gives you the same details, but for the multi-core performance. So definitely interested. So if you guys are looking to compare this to other devices, this will be a good baseline to start. Now, as far as the speed test, I was able to do two separate tests, one using the Wi-Fi and one using the built-in Ethernet adapter. Keep in mind, I am paying for 400 megabits per second download and about 20 uploads. So the result for the Wi-Fi is up top. You can see my download there is 296 and my upload was 21.67. Now the ethernet adapter did give me a faster speed. You can see that my download was 367 and 22 upload. Now, as far as gaming, the first thing I did was pair my Xbox One controller to this device and it synced up right away. Now, once I got in, all the controls worked flawlessly. I didn't have to do any manual configuration to get everything working properly. So I was able to do some gaming, as you can see there. The playback is pretty smooth. I was able to do some driving. I also played the, the bombing game, which, which worked pretty well. But just looking at it, see the quality is good. Doesn't look like it has any drop frames and the overall experience is pretty good. Now with all that said, I would recommend this for some light gaming. So when it's all said and done, this is a decent device that can do a lot of different things and do them well. So if you're used to the Office applications, your Microsoft Office, your Word, Outlook, everything is right there for you. But also if you want to do some streaming, you want to get into your Hulu, your Netflix, your Amazon Prime videos. Once again, you can set it up, go to your tablet mode and everything should work smoothly as well. So drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the Azul Access. Could this be a replacement for not only your streaming devices, but maybe also your laptop? I will be leaving links in the description as well as the comments. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm <laughs> sorry.